Thank you once more for your time. As we said, today we are going to focus on tenant buyers as we continue looking at showing the home. What are the things I should look for? Check the applications. Have any interested tenant buyers signed the rental application, the tenant buyer application and offer to purchase, if applicable, right away. For the tenant buyer, make sure you receive your $50 application fee immediately. You can eliminate the tire kickers right away and discover who is really interested in your home by asking for an upfront $50 or $75. You can decide on the amount which will be used to conduct a credit check, a past tenant check, and possibly a criminal report. We suggest doing all three. There are also online agencies and companies that will do this for you, but you do need to cover your costs. You also need to check driver's license and credit history. When any individuals fill out an application, make sure you check their driver's license. Write down the driver's license number and check the expiry date. Is this person who he or she claims to be? Screen the applications carefully. While the person is completing the application, explain that you will be checking his or her credit. Check their credit history right away. Okay. You should also ask for non-refundable down payment. Ask for the down payment. Don't tell them the amount of the down payment. At the time of application, you can simply ask, How much do you have available? They may respond with a certain amount. You can tell them right away if it's enough, or they may give you a general number. Respond by saying, As long as it's negotiable and reasonable, we'll see what we can do. Also explain that your experience has taught you that the person who has the most amount of money up front usually turns out to be the best tenant buyer. That way, both of you are clear what you are looking for. Often, tenant buyers will ask you if the upfront payment they are going to make for the house is refundable. Make sure you're ready to answer. Say, no, your upfront payment isn't refundable. If I select you and your family for the home and I invest two years in helping you buy the home, the upfront payment is compensation for me for taking my home off of the market. Let them know that if they're not 100 committed to owning a home, they shouldn't discuss it further. Advise them you're looking for someone who is very serious about buying a home. Rental applications verification is another important aspect. Check the applicant's rental applications quickly, as timing is crucial. You want to complete this task within the first 24 hours especially for suitable applicants, as they will be accepted for somebody else's home, as well as yours. Follow up by stating, it's between you and another family. I think you're the best fit for the home, however, the other family is putting more money down. Is there any chance you could increase your amount? Let them answer. Thank you. Tomorrow, we will discuss about appointment scheduling. Have a good day.